everyone welcome to ecoholics i have been doing previous year questions of gate economics paper so i have done a few solutions if you want to see those solution you can go to the link in the description box so in this video i would be sharing the solution to question number 38 of gate 2021 paper so let's just get into the question so what does our question says it says that the long run cost function of all identical firms in a perfectly competitive industry so when we talk about perfectly competitive industry we know that the firms are going to be price takers so they have given us the cost function of these firms they are totally identical it means they are producing homogeneous products also and their cost functions are also identical the cost function is given by C equals to twenty five Q minus three Q square plus one point five Q Q. So that's the cost function of each and every firm. The market demand function is P. So it's equal to so P equals to twenty five hundred minus point two five Q. So this is the market demand function. So it tells me that what is going to be the demand of my market at a certain price. Correct. so when we are talking about this thing so we are talking about few identical firms so we are not given that and that's what they are exactly asking in the question they are asking that the number of firms in the industry at the equilibrium is so this is not an mcq type you have to find the answer and just write that answer so they are asking how many firms would be there at the equilibrium so for the perfectly competitive firms for the perfectly competitive firms i'm going to write the cost function first so it's c equals to 25q minus 3q square plus 1.5q q so it says 25 minus 3q square plus 1.5q q and the price function also so the market demand function is 2500 minus 0.25 q so we have a q here also so the price the demand function is 2500 minus 0.25 Q. That's my price function is. So here they are asking for number of firms. So when there are few number of firms in the industry, whatever is going to be the quantity demanded at the equilibrium, I need quantity demanded exactly equal to quantity supplied. So that quantity supplied will be done by the n firms, which I need to find. That's not going to be supplied by just one firm. it's going to be supplied by all the firms in the market whatever is my equilibrium quantity demanded so the very first task is for me is to find that quantity demanded or my quantity supplied because at equilibrium they are going to be essentially same so if i can find that i can find the number of identical firms so what's the equilibrium condition for perfectly competitive firms in the long run in the long run the condition at which these firms operate is where prices are equal to where prices are equal to marginal cost and along further they are equal to average cost so that's the equilibrium condition in the long run for my perfectly competitive firms so i don't uh, like i don't have the price i need to find because i have this what i have that's my demand function of the market so i will first work at this thing that marginal cost is equal to average cost both the things i can find from this cost function so first i will differentiate my cost function with respect to q and i will get my marginal cost and then i will divide my cost function with q and i will get average cost curve so let's just do that do that So marginal cost is equal to twenty five minus six q plus so three power will come to forward so I will get 
4.5 Q square. That's my marginal cost. So on the other side, what do I want? I want average cost. So what is average cost? Average cost is equal to 25 minus 3 Q plus 1.5 Q square. That's what my average cost is. So if I will put them both equal to each other, I would get a value of Q. So let's just do that. So if I put the marginal cost first, so let's just do it here only. So 25 minus 6Q plus 4.5Q square, which is equal to 25 minus 3Q plus 1.5 Q square. So 25 and 25 will get cancelled out. Minus 6 Q plus 3 Q. If I will take it to the other side, I will get minus 3 Q. That's what I will get. And if I will take, here I have 1.5 Q square. So I will bring this 4.5 Q square to the other side. I will get 1.5 minus 4.5 Q square. So that's going to be minus 3 Q square. So minus 3 and minus 3 gets cancelled out and Q with this thing power it will get cancelled out and I'm left with Q equals to 1. So what I know is this Q that's equal to 1. So it's the Q which will be supplied by one in the form, one perfectly competitive form. So it's not the quantity, so it's not the quantity supplied by all the industry. It is quantity supplied by one firm because we have equated marginal cost and average cost of one firm and not all the firms because we don't know what what is the number of all the firms. So I have get that one firm will supply one unit of good. Correct. So if I will put this value of Q, if I will put this value of Q, I will get marginal cost. So if I put this Q equals to 1 into my marginal cost function, that's going to give me 23.5. I will get 23.5. That's the marginal cost of one form. So I know that price have to be equal to, prices have to be equal to marginal cost. So hence from this thing, because I have got marginal cost equal to 23.5. So my price would also be 23.5. 5 correct so whatever uh, what i have got i have got prices i have got quantity supplied by one firm and i have got marginal cost so now what shall i do so i know the price so if i will plug this price into this demand function this demand function so i want to replace this small q with q so that you can't uh, don't get confused so this is the total quantity demanded. So if I will plug in this value of P here to this equation, I would get the quantity which is getting demanded in my market. So I will just plug in the values and I will get Q equals to 9906. So I have got this Q when I have plugged in the value of P in my demand function which is given to me in the question. So this is what? This is my quantity getting demanded in my market. So in the beginning, I told you that whatever quantity is demanded, that has to be supplied by all the firms whenever we talk about equilibrium. So it means if quantity demanded is 9906, then quantity supply would also be same. Quantity supply is also same, 9906. So I told you that every firm is identical so they will be supplying exact units of goods like all their peer firms so it means the quantity supply then becomes so the total quantity supplied is supplied by my n firms and i know those quantity supplied by one firm that was q equals to one so it means quantity supplied, total quantity supplied in this market is equal to number of firms multiply quantity supplied by one firm. I know the quantity supplied by one firm is one. I have N here, I have 9906 here. So from this, I will get the value of N, which is 9906. 
So what I have got to know? I have got to know that I need 9906 firms in that market if I want to operate at the equilibrium according to the given conditions. So the number of identical firms would be 9906. So this is the solution for question number 38. If you like this solution, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.